everybody, it's Maximus here, and today I was just going to show you how to get um, virtual pinball nine tables, obviously for free. Because why would you want to pay for a virtual table unless it's like really high quality, like pinball arcade? So, um, where I'm going to be using IRPinball.org right now, it's because it just has all everything you need to start off. But there's better websites out there. There's like a hundred websites out there you could use. This is just my favorite for starting off. It don't have all the best machines, like it's missing quite a few, but uh, yeah, that's that's about what's going on. And uh, let's see, it says it, you need at least um, VP9 1.5, and that's what I have right there. So you have all of these good machines, latest tables and updates. Now I will tell you that out of 100%, 30 of them, 30% of all 100% do not work. So you just got to experiment. So first off, what we'll do? Why do I keep saying first off? Downloads uh, right here, and um, here you can find Future Pinball and Visual Pinball. Just download Pinball uh, one or Visual. My God. Visual Pinball uh, 9.1.5 and uh, install that on your computer by just clicking it and then I think it will ask you to set it up by you just click yes 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 I agree yes yes whatever okay now it's installed on your computer and uh, you'll have shut up Google Chrome you'll have uh, these these four things on your computer you'll have uh, free image DLL VP reg registration then you have a user and um, these you have to keep on your desktop or visual pinball will not work so I just put it up in a corner I just put these four things up in a corner now there's a way you can slip it onto a folder and uh, you have to do some rerouting but I don't care to do it it's just easiest just to leave it up there and you won't have any errors because um, if you try to stuff it in a folder it'll say you cannot find it on your computer it has to be in the same area and that's the virus there but that's not from uh, that's not from irpinball.org it's safe you can just research it whatever um, so yeah that's what you need to do and it'll be set up like that next off I just created a folder called pinball tables and uh, now we're going to go to downloads then we're going to go to whatever you want here and these are table recreations and you can find ones that are uh, originals you know people just made them up and those a lot of times play better than the recreations but uh, we'll go for 1960 to 1969 and then we'll put up then we'll put this up in a new tab also okay so here's the 60s and um, as you can see even though they say they're recreations, not all of these are real. Some of them are actually fake, fan-made machines. And, uh, as you see, here's King of Diamonds and King of Diamonds again. You just gotta see which one's the best. I mean, same thing, different maker, you see? Uh, King Tut, mm, we'll, we'll see if there's any good one we want. We want, uh, oh, uh, we'll do soccer, okay, or no, we'll do space sharp. Space Sharp, Spaceship. So we'll just we'll just click that little button right there, the little save button, uh, little floppy disk, and after you do that, it will be installing. Hold on, you better install, you little craphead. There we go. So now it's installing, and you need uh, WinRAR. Jeez, I, I had to pause there for a second because I can never say WinRAR right. I just say WinRAR. Winrar. So, drop that over there. Oh, jeez, shut up. My computer just wants to act like a retard. Uh, okay, so now that you have it right here, we're just going to right click it and click extract. Uh, extract here. And let's see what all gets created. Alright, so we have three things we have a flyer for it. Just open that up so you can see it. Open with uh, photos. Put a load up here just so you can see what it all is and what I'm talking about. 
And this only actually takes a person like 20 seconds to do. It's just I'm trying to go slowly so everybody knows what I'm doing. Because I have trying to teach people that have no clue what they're doing on here. So, spaceship. Okay, that's the flyer for it. Um, and here's the actual file, but it will not let you open up a VPT file. VPT is virtual pinball table. So, to have a VPT, and for future pinball, which is the other, um, software that you can use, uh, it's an FPT file. So, if you get this, this is, uh, VPT will not work in your future pinball. And if you have an FPT file, um, then it will not work in visual pinball. So, uh, we're just going to be clicking into it. V is for visual and F is for future. And you make you gotta make sure that that your ROMs Mac uh, Mac match your uh the software you're using. So now we're gonna click file open uh to make this make sure this thing works. Uh now we're gonna go to desktop. Makes sense. If it's dead as a door now. Okay, stop. All right, now as you can see, you see this file right here, VPT Spaceship RC1. So we're gonna click it, open it, and now that we have it on there, you can either hit F in F5 or you can just hit play. That's right here where my mouse is. So uh, right here, let's turn it down. It's pretty high. I have a really loud computer. Okay, and now it's enter to pull your thing back and shift for your uh, enter for plungers, shift for your uh, flippers, and all pinball machines are controlled with one, five, and the right key on the keyboard. Some with Z, X, C, and V, and I think that's it. Maybe G. So yeah, as you see right there, it says five coins uh, start. So let's we'll click five. S A to insert your ball. So 5 S A and that that did all that. You had to turn it on, insert a coin, and uh, set your balls out. So now our flippers are working here. This actually seems like quite a fun machine, but uh, I think this just might be a reskin of Central Park. I cannot be for sure. And uh, Depending on the computer you use and the version of the software you use, you will experience some lag. But on these old machines with the less uh, less graphics, you won't perceive too much lag. Oh, boy. But uh, yeah, so that's that's how you work it, guys. And then what I like to do is I just like to file close and then exit out of here so way no errors will occur and delete this right here since you've already extracted 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 now we'll go to my pinball table file uh, folder and uh... as you can see here's all the pinball tables i have that's uh... the amazing spider-man that's um... the empire strikes back then new folder obviously we're creating a new folder and we're naming it um we're just going to name it uh spaceship spaceship and this one works really well so even though it don't look very good so i'm going to put hq for high quality play which i didn't add a p to it i just put high quality on all of these okay and now that we have spaceship in there uh we're just going to get out of it like that and grab these three things Go down to where spaceship is and drag it right. Jeez, work right there. So now, whenever you go into virtual pinball, just click into your pinball tables, click into spaceship, and then there it is. And you just click it and you play. So uh, yeah, that is that is how it all works on pinball uh, nine uh, nine fifteen. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Again, you can do this in like 30 seconds. I just wanted to slowly run y'all through it. And uh, yeah, talk to you.